Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm back with part two of today's message. And this message is for those who are on a twin flame, soul to soul journey back to reunite with each other in this lifetime. And so I'm going to pull this is guidance for the union uh, or the reunion, <coughs> I should say. And it's guidance from the Moonology deck, from the Native Spirit deck, from the Work Your Light Oracle, and then also from the um, my friends deck as well. So I've already shuffled those, so I'm just going to see what they want to say. So the Moonology deck is to believe in the impossible. <laughs> the um, Work Your Light is to shapeshift. <laughs> I love it. And the Work Your Light is the priestess, all about trusting in your intuition and going within. And then from my friends deck, it is be flexible in how you, again, it's about being flexible in how you expect these, <clears throat> you know, reunions to happen. I think we, you know, we're very, uh, we like things to be in a certain way in our minds, you know, that's just the human way. But actually we really do have to release all of our expectations, be flexible and trust that the way that it comes in is for, a high, for our highest good. So believing in the impossible, that that is um, really so true. You know, if since, so one thing that I can share about my journey is that pretty much everything has happened, has not happened how I thought it would happen or even had any inkling. For example, doing this channel, no idea that I'd be doing this, no idea that I'd been doing, doing channelings for people, no idea that I could do readings for people, no idea that, I, I mean, all of it, no idea, literally. And, uh, but it comes from letting go of any expectation because uh, the more free you are, the more open you are, the more you let uh, divine creation work through you. So, as the saying goes, some things happen only once in a blue moon. In other words, hardly ever. Drawing this card suggests you're about to get a rare chance and that something one-off could well be about to happen. This card is a very positive sign if you felt like you're hoping for too much or asking for too much from the universe. Whatever you are asking about, well, it might only happen once in a blue moon, but it can happen. However, with this rare opportunity before you, it's important that you believe in it. If you can convince yourself that whatever you're asking about can never go in your favor, then guess what? It won't do. Be grateful for this card, which is a reminder to believe in your dreams. So, if you can believe it, you can achieve it. And I think so much of the time we kind of think, oh, this is going to be, this is never going to happen, you know. How is it that this situation is going to turn 360 degrees around when it looks like nothing is going to bring it together? And that's what it is. If you have that mindset, then of course that's the mindset, that's what we create. Whereas if you believe that anything possible, your twin could come knocking on your door any day and you're open to that, then that is the space that we need to be in. What I also notice is that these cards are blue. Blue is the throat chakra. So do some throat chakra clearing, you know, be able to speak your what you're truly feeling, being able to speak from a vulnerable heart is what we have to do. That's what we're here to learn. So you can be anything you desire. So let go of attachment to your identity. It's exactly what I was saying. You know, my identity during this journey has completely 100% changed. Um, so see the world around you with new eyes. Be malleable. Experiment with different ways of viewing reality. See the point of view of others. If you haven't been able to manifest your dreams, maybe you need to shift the way you see the person or the situation. So again, really strong message about how are you viewing the situation? Are you viewing your connection as this is impossible, it's never going to work? Um, there's too much water gone under the bridge, right? Or are you shifting your perspective to believe in the impossible, believe and open the door for them to come knocking on your door and for everything to be hunky-dory? So in earth-based cultures, shapeshifters had the mystic ability to transform into other forms of consciousness. It's said that these beings were not imagining that they were changing into a specific, specific animal, plant or stone, but they could actually morph into another shape. Just because most people today don't think this is possible doesn't mean that it's not true. This card chose you because it wants you to know that your past does not equal your future. Simply shifting your point of view or your belief system can bring an entirely new destiny into being. 
So deepen your ability to shapeshift. Simply imagine that you're an animal, bird, plant or stone. Make it as real as you can. Doing this deepens your ability to shift your beliefs and limiting decisions that perhaps have held you back from fulfilling your highest destiny. So, really strong guidance from both of those cards to say shift your perspective around this situation. You know, be flexible, right? Be flexible about how it comes in. Know that transformation is happening. Know that you're both transforming and you're gaining strength as you go through this process. Look at that. <laughs> You're straining it to, and look, the health card, especially this is like crazy because I'm here helping my friend as she's recovering from what a, a, an operation. So it is a, the, the most important thing, no matter what, is your health, right? And the beauty, look at that, and then itself. Of course, you have to look after your health of yourself because that's the most important thing. And when you do that, you gain strength. You gain strength for your transformation. This light worker, this, this, you know, taking on more light energy is transformative. It is tiring. It is, it, 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 you know, what else can I say about transformation? It's, it's, a, it's, you're coming out of a completely different way of living into a new way of living. And that takes a lot. So don't underestimate it. So now the guidance is the priestess. So this is about trusting in your intuition, going within, knowing that you've got what it takes to see you through. Right, so the message is, the priestess is a teacher dedicated to service, freedom and leadership. You don't need to have it all together to lead. In fact, it helps if you don't. No one wants a perfect angel who hasn't made any mistakes. That's the other thing. You know, we all learn from our mistakes. That is, you know, they're the best teacher. And the, the whole message of this reading was about adventure and to, to relish the adventure that you're on, even though sometimes it feels super, super difficult. But everyone in your life, everyone is a mirror to what you're growing into. Everyone is a mirror to what to you need to let go of. So if they're mirroring to you things that you need to, that are triggering you, that's because they, you need to let go of them. So it is about embracing your inner priestess. So how are you being called to step up and lead? And how can you be the leader you wish you had? Because your tribe is waiting for you. So step forward so they can find you. So be the priestess. You know, where are you being asked to look, step forward and shine your light? Um, if you want to share your TF story, perfect opportunity to share your story and help shine your light. I'm compiling a book of TF stories um, from all over the world. And if you want to be involved, please do email me, divinelovecrystalgrid at gmail.com. And it's put in the subject line, TF Story. And uh, I will send you, if you, um, people that are involved, I'd send a set of questions. You don't have to answer the questions. It's just to help you frame your story. Uh, but if that's helpful, I can send you the questions. Um, and just remember, this is an adventure of your soul. This is an adventure of a lifetime. And so just trust, you know, and be flexible in how these connections come in. Believe in the impossible, you know, do that shape-shifting guidance. Pretend, you know, really imagine yourself as a rock or a tree or something. So you can really bend your reality and create your reality. All right, I hope that helps. Take care. If you want to have a healing or a reading, it's $20. Channeled letters are $10. Akashic record readings, which the Akashic records are basically a record of all universal truth, which is your truth, your soul's truth, sorry, your twin's truth, um, what you're here to do, what past lives, what your le lessons are this time, um, what your soul purpose is. So much information in the soul records. Um, they were written by Archangel Metatron and they were basically an amazing source of information to help you on your journey in this life today to live the best life that you can to let go of habits and behaviors you know that very often are working in our subconscious brain so if you would like to have that it's eight questions for eighty dollars um and again all details are in the link but in the meantime, I hope you have a great day. And the message is, be the high priestess. You know, where are you being stepping up to lead? Be flexible in how you see these um, unions coming in for you. 
the big message is remember you're going through a transformation so is your twin we're all energetically moving into the vibration of believing that anything is possible and that's so different to what we've done in the past you know and so we are moving into a new way of living and a new way of thinking so shapeshift your life that's the message all right i hope that helps take care bye